Sego zo guego, skana. So what you're about to see right here is what we call in Iroquois war dance. I will tell to you how it was told to me a long time ago. Too many moons to count. This dance was used before we went out to war to build our adrenaline and to prove our strength and confidence in every move. This was also to help our family members at ease that they see our strength and confidence before we leave. This was also a victory dance after battle. And many times the men will showcase a story of what they just been through. It has also been said to me that this was used to declare war against an enemy face to face. These songs would be sang and our men would dance and pray just moments before the battle would start. From generation to generation it has been passed down and today it's used in collaboration with the smoke dance this style of dance has been very popular in the powwow world and you can see this dance in any one of the Haudenosaunee communities from Gahnawage Mohawk territory all the way down to North Carolina. In recent years, many other nations have hosted specials and it has branched out throughout Turtle Island. So if you liked what you've seen, please like, leave a comment, and share. Aho! Namako Azogwebun.